Hello, future star. Hello, how are you? You're like, I am finally, you know, like Netflix when no one knew what it was. <laughs> you know, I bring you could buy the stuff for like $5. <laughs> because I mean, the talent that you have, your bit, Jojo, and it's just incredible. And we're so grateful that you, that you can. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was amazing. Yeah. Of course. So, um, oh my God, where will where we start? I mean, we were talking off camera that you, know, you had three dogs. Yeah. You know, you're going through this like, Great transformation in your life. Mm. Very exciting stuff, right? Very exciting. Yeah, it feels a little surreal to be here right now and just finally have like a natural voice dream about coming here and um, yeah, a new chapter for sure. A new chapter, yeah. And uh, it, and, and it's fun. So you just graduated mm -hmm. as well. Yes. And um, tell me a little bit about like you were at preschool teacher. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I worked at a three day a week little cooperative. So uh, teaching. 11 two and three year olds three days a week and then going to school the other two days a week and my nightlife is all music so all music yeah and it's always been like that yeah i mean i've been gigging since i was 12 years old yeah um so obviously small town is a little bit different um but i have about four to five gigs a week right now um just going hard at it and then i would get home you know at like 11 30 and crank out my assignment for like a half an hour before it's due yeah. and then get it done um it's the grind where did this like you know obsession came with music as, 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 at such a young child at such a young age to be like was it something you saw was it like an artist that touched you was it an album because 12 years old you knowing that that's what you wanted to do that's great that's yeah great. yeah um so when i was seven my best friend passed away from cancer um and that was the first time i really like dove into writing and um the whole music and songwriting process um i sat down at the piano and just kind of let myself use it as an outlet right and then like any emotions i was ever feeling i was like okay i'm gonna sit down at the piano or pick up my guitar and write something yeah. so that help myself like get through those emotions right um and when i was 12 years old uh i did my first open mic night and i had done theater and i'd done performing i love performing um but it was my first time i shared original music with other people and like oh i just caught whatever that was like just this fire in my heart like this is what i need to do like i know i need to do this um, so I started, uh, I went back home, I made business cards and I walked up and down the streets of my little town and said, Hey, I know I'm 12, but I can sing. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then I've just been crafting and challenging myself for the last few years. And I'm ready for some bigger things. I'm ready to see what the next chapter will fit. Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's in Venus mm -hmm. Connolly. Yeah. <laughs> is he, I, I saw like some videos and photos of you like gigging in 2020 like just outdoors and bus with oh, so. oh yeah it's so fun yeah wait we, we're known for our resort town sure. so i'm at the resort every friday night almost playing on like the rooftop floors and all the things yeah so yeah all right were people aware that your voice is like it, i mean my voice said it was like that's just special work but like mm -hmm. yeah you know what are you doing here you're you're yeah <laughs> a little yeah. bit they're like oh are you from nashville are you from Illinois? no i was born and raised here <laughs> yeah oh my god Let's, let's talk about your new single. You have them. Because it's so good. I'm still selling you. Got a, a couple things. And I knew that looks, I'll talk about the video in a second. But first, let, let me talk about, like, you've been writing this song for four years, right? Yeah, it's it's actually been a long process. So usually, like, when I write a song, I'll have an idea that pops in my head. I'll write it down, whatever it is. And then, and then I usually crank it up real fast. And um, with this song, it was a little harder for me because I sat down and I wrote the first verse. And I, yeah wrote the, the pre-chorus and then I said like I didn't even know what I want the chorus to sound like and nothing was nothing was sounding good enough like mm -hmm. and so I sat on it for so long kind of forgot I had written it even um and then I was invited to New York to go to a writing retreat there uh, called Glass Nose Studios yeah and I went there and um, it's my first time ever co-writing with anyone before in my entire life so it's a different process um, but I, you know, I shared my heart with them. I shared the idea for the song and the first verse and stuff, and they really liked it and they helped me, um, so much. It was such an incredible process doing it. Yeah. So, uh, I was there for a week. We tracked vocals, you know, I did piano on it and, um, I love the song. I really, really, really. I mean, it, yeah. there's not a phrase, there's not a word, there's not a syllable that is not in the right pitch in that song. Thank you. But it always sounds struck me. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you because I mean, the fact that some songs can come so easy and some can be so labored. Yeah, that's so wild. Yeah, like yesterday I wrote one in like an hour. <laughs> yeah. Then we got like a demo done, you know. <laughs> but then there's this one, and I think it was just because I had such high expectations for it. Because um, it's your 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 experience. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. So I had it was like after high school, and I was like going through a little, was going back to this stuff. Yeah, and then I was like, well, it's you know, it's gone. It, um, 
you know, I had dated again, and I think that that's the reason why the song ended when it did. I think I needed to wait a few years and go through another relationship that was more serious, honestly. And then I connected in the song so much more at that point. Sure. And so it's, you know, it's really just like about like letting go and like surrendering and be like, yeah, yeah you know, that's what has to happen here. You know, like I have to let you go. And, and I love that because that is a little bit of what you're doing with your career. I mean, you're, you're letting go of what's comfortable. <laughs> and then on this embracing the unknown. Yeah, for sure. Were you always like that uh, adventurous with uh, basically comfortable with being uncomfortable? I think I get a rush, you know, like I love the, I, I love roller coasters, you know, like whatever is like so risky and like a little bit scary, but, uh, I, you, you, you know, I think I have always been that way. I mean, um, I'm the youngest and, um, in our family, like, you know, my siblings did their own thing and, uh, we're big athletes and that kind of thing. And I just said, Hey, I want to do something a little bit. Yeah. You were not an athlete. Yeah. I was an athlete, played golf, almost played for college. Okay. I decided not to go that way because I wanted to do music, Good. but, um, yeah, great choice. Paved the new way for myself. Yeah. Oh my god, I have a video for Bob. Just, it just came out from the day where taping that's yeah. uh, it's wonderful. So are, are those a real memento? Um, no. Some of them, so them are. are. Some of them are, and then some of them are like birthday notes that people have had you for a short, like random things. I just pulled stuff out of my room and put it in the suitcase. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Like who has not been through that? I mean, exactly. Yeah. It's a universal thing. In it. Oh my god. Uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about uh, working with Jeffrey? Uh, obviously, you know, he's a great producer, songwriter himself. He's got this great, you know, resume. How did you connect with him and, and how did you guys like cross paths, you know? Yeah, so Jeffrey, you know, he moved temporarily for a little bit into Coeur d'Alene. So, yeah. um, so, you know, you run into a lot of the same people over and over. And um, yeah, he had heard my name quite a few times, just throwing reds and people. Yeah. I knew his neighbor, like, just sure. You know, small town. Small town. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's like, who's this JoJo girl? Like, everyone keeps talking about JoJo. Um, and so, yeah, he followed me on Instagram and said, hey, like, I would love to meet with you. would love to chat. I think you're great. Um, so we did, and we decided that this was the right move. And, you know, with, like, a lot of counsel from, like, parents and people I really trust are, like, he's a great guy. Yeah. Um, he wants what's best for you. He, I can know he believes in me, and that's so amazing. Like, cool. when you find that, um, to find somebody who encourages you and really believes in you. I agree. Yeah. And I can tell, I, I mean, you can tell why. Oh. I think he's, you know, not only a talent, but, like, you're a great person. But you can just feel a great heart. Thank you. Thank you. you know, um, so that's very important. Yeah. Especially like just in the world in general, just having those like core values of family, you know, God, all that stuff. Yeah. I should know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, yes, you both the North Island Girls Got Talent. Oh, we got it. I think, boy, that the first competition you won. It was, yeah. All right. Well, the first of many, but we'll always we'll remember that one. Yes, North Island Girls Got Talent. Yeah. Um, it's great. Um, I auditioned with no ideas that I was like, gonna win or like be a finalist or whatever. Like yeah. I tried it a few years um, prior and um, I made it to the finals, didn't win, whatever, that's okay. Okay. And then I did my thing, forgot that it was a thing that happened every year, you know? You're not winning, but that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there is there is a lot of incredible talented people. There, I don't so. know. I don't know, Jeff, but you're pretty good. I know they can know that up with podcast called David Wells. So oh, anyway. Thank you. you know, I think everything happens for to- at the right yeah. time for a reason. Oh. Um, so, you know, I'm, I kind of forgot it was a thing. Didn't didn't try it for ne- the next few years. Um, and then it went back this last year. My grandma actually told me to do it. She's my piano teacher growing up. And she's like, tell me to like, there's one of those. That's why you should be yeah. quiet. Just sure. be quiet anyways. It's free. Like, you have nothing to lose. Um, so yeah, I auditioned, um, made the next round and then I did that, made the next round and I was like, okay, uh, this is kind of fun. I don't know. Um, to the, uh, the final is I sang my original song, Tell Me What You Want to Say. Oh, the full song. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so I did that one and, um, yeah, it was such a rush to be able to do it on like this big stage. It was packed house. It was really, really cool. People I didn't know. Um, it was just an, a very unique experience to have like people that you've never met before voting for you. Saying like I believe in you, yeah. Like I think what you have is special, and that's like it means the world to me. So um, I did it. It was half audience votes and then half judges. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it. I was not. You know, I was so surprised. Um, there's a video of you somewhere being like, "What? <laughs> like we?" <laughs> <We're sorry. laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, it was really really special, and then from that has so many good things have come. Like I posted a little video and then from that the writing retreat in new york happened and then from that like i'm just meeting all these people and boxes came out and 
So the universe is opening up for you. It is. It's going to be so exciting. It is so exciting. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Your family is behind you all the way. Um, they are. Yeah. My biggest fans. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. My siblings are always uplifting me. I have 13 nieces and nephews. 13 nieces and nephews. 13 nieces and nephews. Wow. It's super awesome. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the crazy yeah. I'm not the bitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the it, yeah, it is the best. Someone not pulled it right. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, well, all I like to come up and sing with me at gigs and stuff. So it's really all right. Yeah, it's been super sweet. I know you've been. Um, I mean, you've been compared to like Mara Jones and a whole bunch of other people, but like, but little Jojo, like when you were listening to music, when you were discovering what like the music that set your soul on fire, who is is the artist that kind of like made your hair stand up? Oh man, I um, for sure played with Max, mm -hmm. Steve Nicks. I always yeah. love. Love, love, love. Songwriting, production, all of it. Like, it's so raw, adorable. It. Like, I just love it. Yeah. Um, love Tracy Chapman, too. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Um, and then Nora Jones, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely loved her as well. Um, yeah, I feel like those are just really the top three that, like, I know they're all so different, and they all have their own separate areas, you know? But um, yeah, I just drag inspiration from, like, so many different things. My parents listening to all different kinds of music very eclectic music taste so uh like my dad loves the smiths and they nice. like they yeah so we listened to so many different things growing up and like i was able to just kind of choose yeah yeah, yeah. i love it yeah i love it too it's so fun and as you get deeper into this industry mm -hmm. tell that a little bit about the about stuff like our part of you like a, like as a human yeah um that you know that that will keep you grounded because right now you're like you're you're the best and Like we talked a little bit about religion and our spirituality, family, mm -hmm. like are these old things and like are like super important to you? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. God, family. Mm -hmm. um, my friends mean so much to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My small town means so much to me. And I um, obviously like I no matter what I do, like in the future or where I go or I move or what I accomplish, um, like as long as I'm keeping those as my top priorities, right. then I know I'm okay, I'm grounded, I'll be happy. Because um, I know like the music industry can be tough and as can anything, you know, anything can be so tough. Uh, but as long as I stay true to myself and to those values, I think, I think there could be really good things that could come out of it. So yeah. yeah. I agree. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about what's, what's coming up. Yeah, I'm sure you have new music, you have maybe any period you're working on TV, like what? Yeah, hopefully a record. Okay. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah, I would love to do a full record. Um, yeah. I, you know, I've been working with people out of their garage, you know, like little things like that yeah. in Idaho and just try to make it work with what I have. And it's been so great and people are amazing there. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited to get more professional, you know, and like really and accept it already. Really, oh. yeah, and launch with that. So. Um, I have a fundraising show coming up Amazing. on June 17th. So we rent out a place that has like 400 seats. Ticket sales are going really well, which is amazing. Um, and so people can donate or whatever. It's cool to have someone who's chasing after their dreams in a small town like Idaho. So totally. it's like Coeur d'Alene, you know. So um, yeah, I have that coming up. And then with whatever I receive there, that's the next step. It's like hopefully a record. Mm -hmm. You know, we want music videos. Uh, travel. I, w I really want to go on tour. Like that's what I'm wanting yeah. to do. I want to open up for someone or whatever it is. But like playing and performing live in front of people is where my heart's at. Like it's so. You love that connection with so people. I need. Yes, I love people. Yeah. <laughs> and I, how would you describe that? Like when you're connecting with like a group of people that yeah. to a pin drop and they're there on the on every verse of your words. Like how would you describe? That? Oh my gosh, yeah. Like I said, that I love risks. I love like not knowing that's gonna happen. I. But how would you describe that? And they're in food, like, like someone a sargar. My hair's done. Yeah, I think I think it's just like, it's really inspiring to see other people connect with something that you have to say, you know, about. Um, so I'd say like, if you know, when you're up there, if you're on stage, people are looking at you, they're connecting with you. Like there's something that happens in my heart and I can feel it happening in their heart as well. Like, oh, this girl kind of kids, or like whatever that is. Um, It's so special. I don't, I don't even know how to explain like the feeling that I get up on stage. Like, and we could talk about nerves. We could talk about all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Do you get nervous? I, I get nervous. I get nervous before, and then as soon as I'm up there and I'm doing my thing, it's like this is it. Like this is not what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. So there's kind of like this peace about it. Like although it can be crazy and there's loud music or whatever it is, my band's like blowing off my ears, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Like it's. It's there's a piece to it. Like I know I'm supposed to be there in that moment. Yeah. So I do. I mean, what else is there to say? And you're, you're starting an exciting chapter. 
um, you know, with wherever you end up next. Uh, regardless, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Nashville. So, oh yes, we're so we're so grateful that. that that you're in our radar, you're in our community, and and our orbit, and that uh, come and see you perform. Yeah. Absolutely, so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here for the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from J Rod Concerts Media.